Like, like look at these kids, bro. My guy's a slasher. I'm cherry picking. Bro, we're on offense. <gasps> I'm high. I'm high. <laughs> I'm high, I'm high, I'm high, I'm high, I'm high. If you guys need NBA 2K20 badges, hit up Legit Grinders on Instagram. The link will be in the description. They are the cheapest and fastest badge grinding service in the community. What's up, guys? It's Solo. I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to tell you why Ruffles is a bad event. I'm also going to give you guys some tips on how to win Ruffles, but after watching this video, you might not even want to win Ruffles. But real quick, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video, and let's get into it. So if you guys didn't know, the Ruffles event on NBA 2K20 was today, and it was supposed to be this big event with a lot of rewards, you know, there's a lot of like incentives to play the event, but it turns out that the rewards weren't all that, and I'm gonna break that down today. So as a lot of you guys know, I play on Xbox, and last year there were 10 winners for Xbox. This year, there's five main winners. Except this year, we didn't know this until the event started. This year, there's five main winners across both PS4 and Xbox. So that means that only five people in the world can win the Ruffles jersey or um, shorts, which I'm going to talk about more. But yeah, to start off the video, I had to mention that because I think they should be separate. We're already separate. You know, we can't verse each other or anything. It just seems a little silly to kind of combine the leaderboards I really don't understand that and I'm gonna talk about the rewards and how they're really not even good in the first place but to combine them just makes it even worse and I really don't understand why they did that so I'm gonna start off with the top prize and that is to go to the NBA all-star game this year which I believe it's normally around like February like 15th February 13th somewhere in that range and so a lot of people think that all of the winners from each ruffles are going or they think the top five from each ruffles are all going and that's just not the case because if you look into it more it turns out there's eight ruffles events this year if you guys didn't know they're every two weeks so there's not one next weekend i believe the next one's on the 28th oh, yeah that, i think that's two weeks and they're on saturdays today's saturday obviously if you're watching this on a saturday you know that but yeah it turns out that the only there's only one person that's going to the NBA or yeah the NBA all-star game in February and that is the one person that has the most points accumulated over all eight ruffles events so um, I guess in the system they're gonna be tracking it and then they're gonna add them up and see who has the most points by the end and only one person is going and honestly that's kind of cool I'm not gonna lie it's kind of cool that they added that but a lot of people for some reason think that they're sending like eight times five they're sending like 40 people to this event because they think top five are going and there's eight events they think 40 people are going but that's just not the case and so for the next topic here is basically like the main prize so there there's five winners basically there i mean there's 50 winners but i'm going to talk about that too like th that's where it gets crazy when i talk about the top 50 but there's five winners basically this year and i think that it should be at least top 10 um but yes yeah, so there's there's four prizes you can choose from this year in ruffles there's the there, i think 50,000 vc unlimited attribute boost and then you can pick from a jersey and shorts so there's four options and you get to pick two of them if you get in the top five so i feel like that's very limited i honestly feel like they should get all four if you get in the top five because that's kind of crazy last year they basically gave you all of that if you made it to the top 10 and top five i mean you're running squads of four that means um you know maybe one squad gets everyone in the top five but that's just so unlikely so it's it's gonna be like only like one person from each squad wins if you know what i'm saying like i feel like they should give more winners the top prize so in my opinion if i were to get top five i would go with the jersey the ruffles jersey and i would go with the unlimited attribute boost the shorts they're cool as well but if you're only picking two i think you'd go with the jersey over the shorts and then the vc that's also cool but the attribute boost is just a way better investment so to add on to the rewards that i've already spoken about um, and like the incentives to play the event in the first place the ruffles event was also double rep 
and it was also four times VC for every game you played if you had a Ruffles code. So what that means is you need to get a bag of Ruffles chips from the store and it has a code on it. But once you have one of these codes, you basically have unlimited codes because once you put the code in, it just gives you like unlimited codes. You can put it in as many times as you want. So I had the four times VC and I had the double rep. And let me tell you, the double rep was moving my rep bar slower than Pro-Am 3v3. So either either like it wasn't double rep or Pro-Am 3v3 is like triple rep or something because I don't understand that. Trust me. Pro-Am 3v3 gives you more rep than the Ruffles event. It didn't make sense to me at all. And then for the four times VC part, you know, I play a Pro-Am 3v3 game and I'll get like 700 VC or I play a park game and I don't even know how much I get, like 500 VC. So, you know, coming into this, I'm thinking I'm going to get 2,000 to 4,000 VC per game because it's four times VC. So, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to get at least 500 VC per game, right? But no, it turns out that it was only giving me like 200 VC and it was multiplying that. So I was getting like 800 VC per game. So that was another letdown because to be honest, Pro-Am 3v3 is probably better to play than Ruffles because Pro-Am 3v3 gives you more rep. It gives you basically the same VC and, you know, Ruffles is just impossible to win, which I'm going to talk about more in this video. Okay, so I've talked about the top winner. I've talked about the top five winners. I've talked about a couple other rewards. But now I'm going to talk about the top 50 rewards and, you know, top five is really hard to do. Top 50 is also really hard to do. But, you know, you're playing the event. You're like, all right, I'm not really close to the top. I might as well grind for top 50. I'm like an 150th. I am you know, I'm kind of up there. So I'm going to just grind for top 50. So you have a lot of people that were out here grinding for four hours. And honestly, it wasn't good rep, it wasn't really good VC like it was advertised, and they were grinding for this top 50 thinking that they were gonna get like a jersey or something or unlimited attributes if you get top 50 because there was like a statement released that there would be 50 winners for this event. And no one knew what the rewards were gonna be for the top 50, and if you guys don't know what the rewards um, are for top 50, for all these people that grinded the whole time to get the win, um, you are gonna laugh at it when I say this, they had two options here and they can only pick one of them so they could either a get a ruffles arm sleeve for getting top 50 cross platform by the way both consoles you know you have 100,000 plus people playing on each console and this is top 50 in the world for this you could get either an arm sleeve or you can get 20 games of attribute boost which is like a joke like is that serious I, I'm pretty sure everyone that got top 50 would go with the Ruffles arm sleeve. So yeah, this year Ruffles is looking really exclusive. It is so hard to win when you take into consideration that it's cross-platform and that only five people win the main events or the main rewards, I mean. So I just want to add in, I forgot to mention that the top five winners along with winning the jersey, the unlimited attributes, and a chance to go to the All-Star game, the top five winners also all win beats headphones so that's pretty cool but again it's it's very hard to do so it's like it's like winning the lottery like it's just it's nearly impossible to get in the top five so i think that the solution so everyone complaining about the rewards is you know i don't think we need to have that top 50 i think maybe change the top five to top 10 like it was last year so that we have more winners for the main prize because top five is really hard and then also so we're gonna have top 10 and then also change it off of cross platform because i don't think we should have cross platform especially if you're gonna make it only five winners because i'm pretty sure no one on xbox won in the top five i'm pretty sure it was all ps4 i could be wrong um but you know the whole time while i was playing it was all ps4 people on the top of the leaderboards so i have one more thing to talk about and on a, as a side note the gameplay and servers were surprisingly good for ruffles i personally didn't lag out of any games i didn't really have any issues some people were having this issue where when they loaded into the ruffles um tent they were like frozen in there like they weren't getting put in a game but other than that you know the servers were pretty good and that glitch didn't happen to me so i'm fine with the servers and gameplay for now but the last thing that I wanted to say was that this year we have East and West servers. So there's only two servers for Ruffles and they didn't really explain why. But, you know, in previous years, we had an Australian server. We had a European server, I think, and an Asian server. So they kind of like took those servers out and they didn't really tell us why. So all the people that live over there and there's actually a good amount of people that live in Australia and all these other servers that play 2K and they're all mad because they can't play 
I mean, they can play, but they'll just be playing with very poor internet. You know, they'll be delayed. And I just don't know why they didn't have those servers running. Maybe it's because they didn't want to fly someone out to the All-Star game because maybe that would be more expensive. I kind of doubt that's the reason why, but that's one of the only things I can think about as to why they didn't bring those servers back. So now I'll give you some quick tips on how you guys could increase your chances at winning ruffles, although it's very hard to do. But before I do that, if you guys are still watching the video, we're almost 10 minutes into the video. And so I'd consider you guys a loyal supporter if you're this far into the video. Go in the comments and comment the word ruffles, and this will just show me you know who is actually this far but yeah for winning ruffles you guys are going to want to have the lineup of one big man so a, a specifically a 7-3 center that can grab a lot of boards set good screens and then you're going to want three sharps i'm a slashing playmaker i could hit from three i mean i could hit from four because there's a four point line so like slashers and lockdowns are kind of useless for this event you want shooters that have hall of fame ranger centers um I have gold range extender and that allowed me to hit some fours. I wasn't as consistent, but I could still hit them. And then I played with two sharps and the center for boards. And so if you guys are going to want to win, you have to end games quick and you have to shoot all fours for the entire game. Now, if the game is really close and it's like 20 to 20, then you're going to want to take a two just to secure that win. But if you shoot all fours, you get a, sh you get a boost to your points. And that's how everyone that won the event won the event. It's because they ended games quick and they shot all fours so basically just know that you guys are at a very low chance of winning anything from ruffles other than just playing it for the rep in the vc you're probably not going to get any rewards it's very hard it's honestly you have to be lucky honestly but yeah that's it for the video we're so close to 1.7k subs so make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already you make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Y'all niggas hate on me, hate on me I'm getting money, what the fuck can you say to me? Y'all bitches cry for me, cry for me, cry for me If you my nigga, then you ride for me, ride for me Yeah, you a cheese, but you a dub to me, dub to me Baby, you see me, get no love from me, love from me I keep a hoodie, cause it's cold to me, cold to me So when y'all see me, y'all gon' notice me, notice me